Hey, let's open up another box. Got one right here, just came in the mail. This is Treat Life Smart Dimmer Switches. It's a four pack. Um, just a couple days ago, I think I put a video up of the Treat Life Smart Life bulbs. Um, I don't wanna say I'm heavily invested in this, this product, this line, but I guess you could probably could say that. I've got nearly all the switches in my house are switched over to one of Treat Life products. They make three different versions of this switch. There's an on-off version. There's this one, the dimmer, and they have a new one that is a combination uh, ceiling fan and light control all in one, one unit there. Um, like I told you in the smart light bulb video from Treat Life, I've been getting offers from them in the email saying, hey, if you buy this and, and um, you like it, uh, we'll give you the money back. And I don't know why they're doing that, I got this box for free. They they refund, They you have to buy it and you send them your order number and they refund the money. If these guys are getting ready to rip me off, I certainly hope somebody you know tells me down in the comments down there that, hey, they're, they're scamming you because this. Um, I, don't, I don't see how they would be because I, you know, like I said, this is the third time I think I bought one of their products and been completely refunded. But you can see here, this product right now is $52 on Amazon. That's, that's the description. Um, I like them. This is, like I said before, I have bought these before with my own money. So I'm not giving you a review based on the fact that these are free because I bought them once before and was shopping for them again. So they come with some wire labels that, you know, no electrician ever uses those. The one thing about these is that when you buy something from Treat Life, it almost always shows up with a coupon to get something for free. So this is a coupon for a free smart warm and cold light bulb, not the RGB bulbs I reviewed in my other video. Um, if you get this for free because they gave you an offer to get something for free, this card, they say it won't work, but I don't know how they would know, honestly. You might be able to just daisy chain this into a you know, whole garage full of stuff. Comes with a user manual. I can say that from an engineer's standpoint, the user manual kind of comes in handy if you're doing, oh, that's the fourth switch they make. They make a three-way switch. So if you're gonna wire up a three-way switch, you might need the manual to do that. Uh, if you have any wherewithal around the house, these are not very hard to hook up. I do not encourage you to try to install this yourself unless you have the experience and qualification to do that. Um, I've been working with electrical components in houses since, since I was about eight years old. My dad started teaching me and I've got the experience and uh, I don't have the experience to open this box. I've got the experience to install this stuff. I've got the knowledge and I've got an engineer's license that backs me up. So if I burn a house down, somebody can sue me. Uh, but for crying out loud, here we go. So packaging is rated puzzle quality. Um, you get four switches in this box. They do sell these one at a time, although it's, if you need two, I think, I think the cost of two is about the cost of a box of four. So there's the switch. Uh, it comes all packaged up with all the, you know, these are lawyer stickers left and right. You know, I'm pretty sure a lawyer told them they had to do this. But the one downfall of these switches is that a lot of your newer electrical switches you buy in the store come with, I don't know what they call it, but they, they show up with a, a, they got a hole on the back here. Instead of having these pigtails sticking out, they'll just have holes in the back and you just strip your wire and you just jam it in the hole and your connection is made. Whereas these, I guess, the, just the nature of the smart switch and the construction they have to use, everything is pigtailed. I think I have a switch here I can show you. I don't have a switch, but I have an outlet. So here's a, here's a typical residential outlet these days. And you can see that it has screws to make your connections on the side. It has your ground screw. And then it has these four holes right here. So these holes actually connect to the same thing this screw connects to. So you can make an electrical connection here by just sticking a wire into that hole and shoving it in past the resistance. I'm not gonna put it in there because then you gotta find a tiny little screwdriver and stick it in that hole to get it out. Uh, you got your line, your load, your neutral, and your ground here. Make sure you ground everything. I have seen so many um, switch boxes opened up in residential houses where they just, apparently they just didn't see the need to, to ground it. I'm telling you, ground the darn thing. It takes about three seconds to ground it. Um, has, has Each wire is labeled here and very well explained in the user's manual. 
this shows up with four switches. These also come packaged with wall plates and this has got the you know obligatory saran wrap protective coating but these are if you notice there's no screw on these plates these things actually a once you've got this attached you know to the wall in the box you can just snap this on from the front and it just it just literally just pushes on there now i'll also tell you that in all the switches i have in my house that i've already converted to these i haven't used a one of these wall plates because they're almost all in a gang box with two or three switches in them, I have not found anywhere where Treat Life offers gang plates to match these. Not a big problem. I mean, it's easy enough to drive down to the Home Depot and pick up some gang plates. But I, I think that, you know, if they wanted to include these, maybe they should at least put one double plate in each box in three singles or something like that. So let's go in the house here and I'll show you how these things actually work because I'm not going to show you how to install them because I don't want to pick up that kind of liability. So let's go in there. Hey, so we're in the house and this is the switch and you can see right here, this is the switch that's installed right here. It's a dimmer that controls the lights in our ceiling fan up there. So right now it's off, and when it's off, this little light at the bottom is lit, and you can see where it, the dimmer is by how many of these little lights here are lit. I hope that's coming through. There we go. You see the lights go up and down, or you can just touch it where you want it. Um, so if we turn this on, you'll see the light at the bottom goes off. So that's how you know that the light's on. If it's, if it's something outside that you might not know, and then the one little dot there that's lit shows you where the brightness is set to. So this is full brightness, and we go down, and that is all the way dim. It's just that simple. So, and this is another example here. You can see where, you know, most of my lights are in a double gang switch. So this one is for the fan, and I didn't want to use a dimmer, dimmer on the fan. So I can't use one of the plates that comes with the switch with these. Now, one other issue we have with these lights that I think Treat Life could do a little bit better this is the three-way switch that we talked about, where you have a switch here and then a switch you know, somewhere else that both work the same light. So the three-way switch has a different appearance to it. And you can see, you're actually, I hope you can see it, there's a little circle inside this little finger divot here that lights up when the light is off. But it doesn't have the same appearance with the little line down here at the bottom that lights up and goes dim. It would be nice if it was all uniform, but I, this is, I think, the new design where they updated the design from the old ones, and you can't get the dimmer in the old design to match others. Not that big a deal, really. But what I would like to see is that if you go in the other room, you have a typical rocker switch in there that goes with the other half of this circuit, and Treat Life needs to offer a non-smart switch option for just a single pole switch so that you could switch all the switches in your house to match. Right now, there's no way I can match these. Now, these two switches are the two that I bought the dimmers for, so I'll be replacing these in the next couple days with the smart dimmer switches. So anyway, that's all I got. Would I buy them again? Yes, they do the job. They do the job very well. Um, the app, if you go and watch my video for the smart bulbs, the app that comes with, from Treat Life, not that happy with. I might go back to it. I found another one called Brilliant Smart that's from a manufacturer in Australia. The, I used to be heavily invested in a platform called IFT, if this, then that, if.com, IFTTT.com, that interface between my WISE products and these Treat Life switches. Well, Treat Life moved away from IFT. They would no longer communicate with it, which I got I got pretty upset at that because it was on the box when I bought these things. And but then just a couple months later, IFT became a subscription service. So I also moved away from IFT. Right now I'm using Alexa. Not entirely happy with the way it interfaces with my Wise products. It's not always not always functional, honestly. Um, these devices will also work with Google Assistant, so I'm going to give that a shot next, and I'll keep you updated on that. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe down below there, and I'll see you next time.